Hey guys, I'm moving back to Kingdom Hearts. And now we're back in Wonderland to uh, get ourselves a wonderful Keyblade. The Lady Luck Keyblade, to be precise. Um, I'm pretty sure I know how to get this thing, uh, if memory serves me correctly. But it often doesn't, so I'm gonna frush it off. We need to get some more. Um, I've racked up like nearly uh, 26 and a half hours on this game now. I'm pretty sure about two and a half of them are, like, you know, me leaving the game on, because there's been times where. I've had to end the recording in the midst of um, something happening, so I kind of have to pause the game for however long it takes me to edit and render, which is about an hour to two hours. So you know, it's not good. Uh, multiplayer around the two hour mark. That's happened more than once. So you know, that could add some of the game time. But there's a few more things I need to do. Uh, I mean, all I got to do is beat this boss and grab the last um, Dalmatians before. Uh, taking on the, the the final final boss but at this point uh, I've kind of got to you know go with what I've got um, what am I trying to say here at this point uh, to get like stuff I want to do after the game I need to go around fighting a few enemies I need to get some uh, shards for my synthesis and I'll show you how to get every item in the synthesis list for the ultimate weapon so you can get it too but I'm not going to show you, and I just hit level 60. Uh, I'm really high level at this point. I could take on the uh, boss we're going to take on after this. No problem. No problem at all. We have to fight a lot of enemies before we can uh, get to where we need to be, but it's totally worth it. The Ladle at Keyblade is a godsend for the next fight. The next fight is a freaking pain, though. So to confirm that much. Okay. Um, I'll let you guys take him out. Yeah, die. Surely, there can't be too many enemies at this point. Okay, um, touch. Yep. Got have a treasure chest. Open. A defense up, not bad. I'm gonna use these items actually because I've got a few of those kind of things. Power up, use, somewhere else. Defense up, use, Sora. Getting a little bit more powerful as it goes. Um, ugh, I was gonna say, I, was, I, I swore more enemies appeared. But whatever. I mean, they obviously do appear now. But there you go. Yeah, this these enemies here aren't actually too tough, so I can take them out really easily, especially at level 60. Like, they take out most things at this point. But, eh. I can take out the final boss no problem now. So I'll be like level 64 when I beat the final boss, something ridiculous, I'm not actually sure. But I'll be over this level. There you go. This gives me uh, all the more chance to beat Sephiroth, I guess. Uh, I just, uh, let's take this guy out. Yeah. Sayonara. Sayonara, I should say. I mean, kudos to these guys for, you know, actually trying. And some putting up somewhat of a challenge, but but this game is a weird case of the upgraded versions of an enemy. That was weird. Um, are often easier to kill than the original, which is really odd. Should I say? Let's, let's do this. And voila! I believe this is where we need to jump in now. If memory serves me correctly. Examine. Boom! To the as far as we go. We did this quicker than I thought we would. I thought we'd get at least lost. Ah, uh, yep, this is it. Trinity. Hmm. <laughs> this is the chest we need. Uh, open. I love the way Sword just casually opens chest. There you go, Ladle of Keyblade. For almost all the Keyblades now, actually. Um. Oh, I got Lionheart off screen when I beat um, School. Lady Luck. Sure it makes us a lot weaker, but we get 2 MP, so... Look at that! Look at that MP bar. It's beautiful, my friends. Anyhow, we need to kind of get out of here, so... I'll meet you guys in Wonderland. No, in Wonderland, in uh, Neverland, in the... Uh... Look, I'll meet you at Neverland, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, so here we are in Neverland, or at Neverland. Uh, 
you want to go to the cabin. That's where you can do this special boss fight. Uh, I think level 60 should be high enough to be. It's still a challenge, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's possible and likely I'll die at this point. Um, so I'm gonna actually. Oh yeah, I need to change your party. You need to have Peter Pan in your party. So swap out. Don't look, it's a pile of crap. Uh, done. So let's, um. Okay, that's my items done. So. Uh, yeah. See what we can give to Peter Pan. He got some high potions to take out. Um. Mega Reefer. We kind of want to have, like, all the, um, MP healing items we can get at this point. Unfortunately, I don't have all that many. We'll use what we can get. Uh, I don't want to use up any Mega Elixirs. Actually, fuck. There's no better time to use up my Elixirs than Mega Elixirs, to be honest. This is harder than the final boss to me. Anyhow, um. What do you think about? <laughs> Let's go! The clock tower is where we need to be to fight this ultimate boss. Alright boys and girls, this is Phantom. Now this is questionably the hardest boss in the game. This is why I'm doing post-commentary for this fight, because, god damn it, I couldn't, you know, hold up commentary while fighting this, THIS boss of all of them. Okay, so this boss is, um, you remember the, uh, Ursula fight, right, guy? right guys? Okay, cool. Well, you see the little ball that appears, I'll, I'll mix, point out when it next uh, comes up. Uh... Take your time. There you go. Uh, if it appears white, you have to attack it physically. Red, you got to use fire, fire of some form. I fire, fire. I recommend Fireaga at this point. Um, if it goes yellow, use Fundaga. If it goes blue, use Blizzaga. And that's simply it. That doesn't sound as difficult as it really is because he's a monster. And there's another thing. You see the, the flames around the clock tower. Well, they, you see, um, when they run out. One of your characters will die. First Goofy, no, first Peter Pan, then Goofy, then you. So you're gonna have to use stop. Uh, that's why we went to Winnie the Pooh's one and got Stopra. Because um, that makes sure the clock freezes for longer when we wanna freeze it. Because otherwise the, the fight would be like impossible. So it's kinda hard to concentrate on all these things at once. That's what makes the fight so difficult. Also, you should come with as many um, MP items as possible. Otherwise, you will die a lot and quickly. Now when he um raises his hand like that, you want to get to another side of the clock tower, it's going to shoot a uh, a little blast thing at you which will sap your health rather quickly. And you want to get the hell away from that. Uh, usually you can tell when he's signaling it, but it's uh, kind of annoying. Also I completely recommend you use Lady uh, Luck Keyblade, that's why I got it at the beginning of this part, because um <laughs> it gives you two extra MP things, which is so nice for this fight at least. It, it's a bit weaker and has um, a kind of bad range. Not as bad as like the fairy hop or something, but bad nonetheless, you know. And so it's uh, still recommended though, it's the best key you can get for this fight. Because you literally need all the magic you can get. Uh, as you'll see at some point in the fight, I stocked up on items big time to make sure I didn't die because damn it, this, this, uh, this isn't the easiest of fights. And uh, yeah, the clocks. I, I forget the clock moves here, which is kind of stupid to me, so I kind of have to use stop again. Stop horror. Which is a massive pain. Uh, it's a, This is an incredibly tough fight. You, you can't get too cocky with it, to be honest. So, uh, anything I haven't gone over. Lady Luck Keyblade, how to hit it. Oh, yes. Uh, he's going to do a, an attack. Um, uh, we'll wait till it gets to it. Uh, it's kind of where he slashes his hand at you, and there's an easy way to dodge that, which I seem to fit. There's the attack I was talking about. You want to heal as soon as it comes near you, because look, it takes off your health really quickly. Um, heal again. Uh, let's see if he can get to that attack. 
Yeah, that one. There's an easy way to dodge that when he runs at you to do it. Just press the square or circle button to go, or square actually, to go down, and it's really easy to dodge that way. It's kind of hard to hit him when him physically, because you don't have like the lunge forward you do with the normal Keyblade. But, still very, very possible. And I, my biggest recommendation to fight is make sure you don't let that timer run out more than once. Once, fine, you can live with that. I let it run out at the end. But, pff, any more than that, you're so screwed. There you go, there's all the items I packed up. Uh, I also gave um, Peter Pan and Goofy some items. You have to have Peter Pan with you. I don't know if I mentioned that in the... Uh, actual uh, recording, but you have to have him, because otherwise you can't talk to, um, thingy, um, you don't, you can't talk to Tinkerbell, so you can't get to the fight in the first place. Uh, anything else I want to say, really? Hmm. I don't, can't think of any other, oh yeah, recommended level. This fight is kind of difficult if you're 60 or under. At this point, I'm level 60, so I'm doing it a tad under leveled, but, you know, it's possible. It's kind of difficult, much lower than that though. Like, if you're like level 50, this fight will be tough. Like, it's still tough now. Uh, sorry, yawning. Uh, I'm level 60, so. Uh, not really much more to say on the matter, so. Um, we'll, I'll see you guys after this fight for some more Kingdom Hearts.
And so at this, he's almost down. With the final blow, we'll take him out. This is a uh, just one tough fight. <laughs> you better come prepared for this. You're not going to be able to do it with, <laughs> you know, no MP items. I'm sure people have, because they're ridiculous. But yeah, uh, that's the fight. And deep, f uh, just f just use, you know, remember the uh, patterns. That's really all I have to say on it. You know, because I miss him a good 50 times. But there you go. Nine 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 yeah nine 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 experience from that which is not too shabby at all. So now we get Stop Grow, which is a stupid name. And now we have the ability to come back to the Clock Tower, which we couldn't do uh, since after we beat Thingy. Um, either way, let's uh, open the chest. And we get the last Dalmatians. That's right, the last Dalmatians. I'm going to go uh, claim the reward real quick, but there you go. 99 puppies found. All of them. Every single one. So now, next part, we can... Uh, move on and end this this lovely game. Well, there's a there's kind of a long ending, so two three parts maybe left. Uh obviously there's still extras, like a few extra boss fights, which I'll probably do like two of them in one video, you know. Then uh have Ultima Weapon and kinda that be it. And so we're gonna board the gummy ship and go to Travis Town. Because that's where we need to go to talk to the Dumbish to receive our final gifts. Which is a full upgrade of a spell and a complete gummy set, as you'll soon see. What spell that is? It's a very useful spell. One that I use a lot, which is a arrow. So we get Aroga or Aro Aro Aroga. I don't know. You, we get the most powerful arrow spell. Is what I'm trying to say here. This is still post commentators because I forgot to unmute my microphone. Because I'm clever, you see. Okay, so um, you want to go to the Dalmatian's house, obviously. You know, you know where that is by now. And uh, it, it feels good to have finally got the Dalmatians done, trust me. I mean, I only just recorded this link well, an hour before doing this, so. It's. The, the feeling's still sinking in, it's good. <laughs> it's kind of fun looking at the uh, Dalmatian compilation video, which I only just uploaded like 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes ago from now. And um, seeing Halloween Town with Blade Look Keyblade, it's pretty hilarious. So, this is a. Uh, pretty much our last time here. Like, there's really not much more we can do here. You know, we've got almost everything we can at this point. <laughs> Other than, the only thing we're going to come here for is synthesis. To end off the synthesis stuff and get the ultimate weapon. But that's after we beat the game. I'm not beating the game of Ultima because that's cheap. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm just not going to do it that way. I'm going to use Oblivion. I've decided. Either Oblivion... Yeah, probably Oblivion. Makes the most sense to me. Anyway, let's watch this lovely little cutscene. 